And I think this is important because as we deal with the challenges of COVID-19 and the COVID-19 recession that is attendant to that and has created these two great crises Australia now deals with, the work of government continues. The needs out across the country are just as present as they were before. And one of the most significant areas of need that we have been addressing as a government since the 2018-19 budget, budget in particular has been the challenges of in-home aged care. Now, it was only last year after the uh, receipt of the interim report of the Aged Care Royal Commission that we uh, immediately responded to the immediate request uh, that there'd be additional places provided for home aged care, and we immediately moved to put an additional 10,000 places. Today, well, I'm announcing uh, with the minister an additional 6,100 in-home aged care places, which will bring to an additional 50,000 places at a cost of some $3 billion that we have announced since the 1819 budget. And every opportunity we have had as a government to increase the number of in-home aged care places since the 1819 budget, the mid-year update that followed, the budget that followed that, the mid-year update that followed that, and now where we are here today, where we had hoped to have a budget obviously earlier this year, but that won't be till October. We believe that was necessary to make this announcement now, and we will take every opportunity in the future, including the budget and the mid-year statement that follows, to continue to address this task. This is about ensuring that Australians, as they age, have greater choices, that families have greater choices. We have many challenges in this country at the moment, but we will see our economy strengthen. We will see Australians kept safe, whether it's from COVID or the many other threats that this nation faces. And we will guarantee the essential services that Australians rely on. And this is a very good example of that in meeting the needs of our elderly and the in-home aged care places that they need, and there will be more. And we will do that in a responsible budget management, um, which the Treasurer and the Finance Minister, Minister and I and other members of the Cabinet will continue to, to apply the discipline to so we can meet all of those challenges. But with that, I'll ask Richard to make a few comments about the specifics, and then I'm happy to take your questions. Thanks, PM. So the um, additional 6,100 packages is evenly split between levels one, two and three packages. The, the rollout will commence immediately uh, and, uh, as the Prime Minister has said, that takes our investment in home care packages uh, to 50,000 since the 18-19 budget uh, at an investment of over $3 billion. Uh, and as the Prime Minister has said, it continues our commitment to providing choice for senior Australians in their age as they age, but also the opportunity for them to stay safe, be at home and age at home if that's their choice. Uh, we're also announcing today that the Royal Commission reporting date will be extended to the 26th of February, so that's a three and a half month extension to the Royal Commission. The Commission, having had to close down for about three months due to COVID had requested an extension and we're announcing an extension to the 26th of February and uh, Commissioner Pagone will become the chair instead of the acting chair of the Commission uh, as a part of the announcement that we're making today with respect to the um, extension of the Commission. 